Newcastle's transfer strategy has completely changed this summer. Are you sure about that? Pete Graves would know. All well, my thoughts today have been about Sandro Tonoli potentially signing for Newcastle, but in the back of my mind, I've got this nagging thing I can't get rid of. He has been working at Sky Sports for 14 years. He has revealed the player Newcastle will potentially sign. They want an attacking midfielder as well. After Which securing wanna... Sandro Tonali. And I don't think people have heard this before. So Pete Graves has delved into the intricacies of Newcastle's transfer strategy, outlining some of the key factors that the club considers when scouting potential players. In this case, between James Madison or Dominic Sobislai, which one are they going to go for? One of the main criteria mentioned was the player's age I'm falling, and, I can't get up. and wages, which play a crucial role in determining whether they are a good fit for the team. This is because Newcastle has a specific profile in mind when it comes to their transfer targets. You know, we're very focused on academy and young players at the moment. We're and not. they want to ensure that any new signings align with their long-term vision for the club. Madison, 26 years old, 27 this year, last big contract. He's got to be demanding huge wages. Sobers like will be a lot cheaper from a wages point of view. So from that point of view, he gets the tick. Sobers is also 22. From that point of view, he gets the tick as well. He fits the profile of the other players who are signing for Newcastle in this window, potentially. In addition to discussing age and wages, Pete Graves also touched on the topic of transfer fees. This is often a contentious issue in the world of football, with clubs and fans alike debating the value of certain players and whether they are worth the investment. Pete Graves acknowledged that transfer fees can be a complex and challenging aspect of the transfer process but emphasized that Newcastle is committed to making smart, strategic decisions when it comes to their signings. You look at it from a point of view with transfer fee. Now, we know that Zobosly has a £60 million buyout clause. That is the maximum Newcastle would have to spend. They could even negotiate a lower fee. FBI, open up! Potentially. Whereas Madison, Leicester have already said they want £50 million plus could rise to 55 with add-ons potentially 60 so there's going to be no difference there from a transfer fee point of view after weighing all of these factors pete graves then offered his verdict on which player he believes newcastle will sign so if you're going to pay the same amount of money but you know you can get him on much lower wages and you know he's five years younger is sobers like going to become more of a focus than Madison in the coming days. I've got a funny feeling he might, but again, it's a personal opinion. Just what I'm thinking right now. Could wake up tomorrow and Madison has moved a step forward, but I just wonder whether Sobers is gonna come back into play. Pete Graves' captivating and informative look into the world of Newcastle transfers offered us a glimpse into the complex and often unpredictable process of signing new players. Moving on, Pete Graves via Twitter went on to reveal that Newcastle United is also currently in advanced talks with the relegated Southampton team over a potential deal worth a whopping £15 million for Tino Livramento. It is reported that Eddie Howe is keen on signing the talented 20-year-old defender from the championship club. However, negotiations are still ongoing, and the two teams remain apart on the valuation of the player. Southampton is understood to value the defender at around £30 million, but Newcastle hopes to agree on a price around half the amount. One proposal reportedly included a cash-plus player deal involving Ryan Fraser, the Newcastle winger, who is free to leave this summer. With Southampton set to lose several players following their unfortunate relegation from the Premier League, and Newcastle has wasted no time in trying to sign the England Under-21 International. These developments will surely generate a lot of buzz among Newcastle fans worldwide, and everyone is eagerly waiting for the outcome of these negotiations. Will Newcastle be able to secure the services of the talented young defender? Only time will tell. Then if you want to know on Newcastle's five shocking defensive transfer targets, click the video on your screen. I'll see you tomorrow.